so it's like Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve, Christmas Eve, Eve. And I don't really know. It's super, it's already late. I, I slept in today, but it is like six o'clock, 540. 5.40 and I'm gonna go get myself some food go pick up my groceries go to the Asian market because I'm craving ramen but like I've bought a lot of ramen I used to like make my own ramen at home and like just add a bunch of stuff to it so I'm trying to get back into that to save a little bit of money so I'm gonna take you guys to the Asian market with me and to go pick up my target order and I think that's all we're getting into today but I have exciting stuff for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day so those vlogs will be 10 times better I hope all right, I'm out of here. Guys, by the way, obsessed with the black Carhartt. Obsessed. This is a game changer. I love my brown one. I'll always love my brown one. But the black one is just fresh, fresh, fresh. It's, it looked good. So it's time to hit the road. So in the comments, I'm going to put a, not the comments, in the about me part, I'm going to put this song that I'm obsessed with lately and yeah check that out i don't know random fact <laughs> so these past few days i've been trying to find the christmas spirit right i'm not gonna say i, I found it because i didn't there was a moment this morning i burst into tears thinking about the holidays and how lonely it can be and especially for some of us it's just not a happy time of year um but I am proud of myself for sticking with this series and I'm proud of myself for getting about the house. Like I used to, this same Chinese restaurant I'm headed to, I used to go to all the time, literally like before COVID. Used to go to all the time with a book and ugh, I forgot a book. I have two books in the car actually. But I used to go by myself, take a little time alone. It's okay to be alone. It's fine being alone, you know? But I think during this time of year, People always make it hard to be alone or make it seem like it's not a good thing or like you're doing something wrong. So many things. So. Thrive on my own. I take so much like I don't know I get so excited when I do something on my own or you know oh this dude is biking on a black bike in a black outfit and it's nighttime get it together anyways um but that's the thing I it's hard sometimes because people always tell you you're doing it wrong and it's not necessarily you're doing it wrong it's you're doing it different so I guess it's the main point of that just remember that you're doing it different yeah, I'm just, I'm doing this different. Okay, it's time to eat. I feel like I'm getting all sentimental. And I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm just kind of blabbing. And it's cold and the car ain't heated up yet. There's literally always a piece of lint. Like, I don't have a cat yet. And yet, I just always have lint on my black clothes. So I'm in front of the Asian market, though. This is the Asian market that I go to. And... I'm about to go in. I haven't vlogged much. I already ate. Um, but my little sis just called, so I had to talk to her. We just talked for like an hour and a half. It was great. But um, let me get up in here. I love the Asian market. And shout out to me. I feel like I'm getting better and better filming in public. And that's a good thing. <laughs> first thing first. Gotta get the game sprouts. I used to think I didn't like these, and now I love them. Literally, so the veggie, the veggies, the produce, I don't know why I stumbled over that, but the produce at the Asian market, top tier. Number one, top tier, best thing ever. I don't know what this is, but I wanna try it. I don't know though, looks good. So you guys know I like my tea. Why am I starting to look raggedy? Okay, focus. <laughs> um, but have you heard of this? It's ballerina tea, right? It's a, what's the word? Laxative for weight loss. Somebody tell me no, because I pick it up every time I'm here, but like, I know that it's just water weight. 
So I have every single piece of this set, except for this little piece, which I don't even know what I use for a dipping sauce, but now I have it. But I want this set. I want that set. There's just so many cute sets, but I don't need them all. I'm one person. I don't need this many bowls. Oh, but I could use a new ramen bowl. I could. This is the aisle that when this place first opened, I spent the most time in. They've got new stuff though. I've never seen this one. Oh, I watch a guy that makes these on TikTok. But I like what I like. And what I like is that one. Children growing noodles. I could use a little bit of growing and fruit and vegetables in noodles. That's so like, I like that. Get kids to eat them fruits and vegetables and not even know. These just look like, like professional chef noodles, you know, above my level. And now we're in the candy aisle. These had a chokehold on me for the longest. I love those. Oh, the candy in the chip aisle gets me every single time. I, I have to get them all. Oh, these are so good, you guys. Cucumber flavor. You know I gotta get them. They're like probably my favorite. There's a tomato, I think, too, that's really good. I'm gonna get two bags. Diet who? And then we got a few drinks over here, but there's a lot more drinks on the other side. Oh, what am I seeing? What is that pose? What is she selling? What is this? Ooh. Coconut something. Coconut juice? Hmm. Should I try it? <laughs> there it is again. Can anyone tell me what anime this is? Because I see these all the time. What anime is that? You know I love my coffee, so we're getting some caramel latte. Mr. Brown. What else? Coconut milk drinks. White peach. I would try all of these, but like, I'm trying to save money. Ovaltine? When's the last time you guys saw Ovaltine? I think it was good. I don't quite remember it. This must be a new brand because it's everywhere. Like, she's just everywhere. You know that these are good in ramen. Put a little, um, what are they, dumplings? Pork buns or mini buns? I want the pork ones there. Where are the ones that I get? There's so many. Bok choy? Pork scallop. Bok choy, bok choy and pork. They have an all veggie one. I don't know where it is. All right, you guys. All right, so we're at my favorite place. You guys already know where that is, Target. But I'm just doing a Target drive up. We're not going in. Because I told myself if I go in today, I'm going to spend way too much money. So I just got the necessities. I hope. I think I got everything. That's the problem with Target drive up, though. It's the problem with going in, too. I always forget something. Like, I got dish detergent. I knew I needed that, right? <sighs> I always forget something though. So here's to hoping that I got everything. And I did not get to film as long in the chat, uh, in the Asian market as I wanted to or stay in there as long because they were closing. So they closed at eight. I went in at seven 30 bummer, but, um, I might do a little vlog another time of like my trip at the Asian market. And if you guys have any like suggestions, they were out of some stuff that I normally get. So that kind of sucked, but what can you expect during the holidays? You know, Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get home. <sighs> All right, you guys, back home, and I want to show you what I got. I mean, I showed you most of the stuff I picked up at the Asian market, but my ramen bowl that I normally use, which is from the Asian market, is huge. And it's huge, right? I told you I had the whole set, right? Got the little dipping cup now. Now I officially have the whole set, unless they come up with more. But I'm trying to eat a little bit better, right? There's a lot of sodium in ramen. And I'm not going to lie, ramen is my comfort meal. So I'll make the biggest bowl of ramen possible, load it up with eggs and bok choy and just everything. <laughs> Seaweed. If I can find fish cakes, I get fish cakes. They didn't have them. And I always am too embarrassed to ask. 
but I got a small ramen bowl. It's Melmime, so it's not ceramic. It's like a hard plastic, but I'm super excited about that because I feel like I can still have my comfort meal and not overeat. That's my problem. I'm definitely binge eat. Definitely, definitely binge eat. Honesty, it's key. All right, so I'm in front of my PC now, and it's time to grind on that. Oh I have tag pulled up on my phone. Tag your mom is it on Kick and Twitch. Uh, amazing person going through some BS right now. On All right, so that just cut off in the middle of whatever I was saying. But I think I was ranting about the fact that I really, really, really want to get good at Val. I talked about Tag Your Mom Is It because um, y'all just heard her on my phone. I have her up. Uh, like I said, amazing, amazing person that's going through some BS on the streaming platforms right now because somebody out there just wants to be a mean individual. Just mean, nasty, mean. Just ugh, so wrong. Anyways, um... What else did I talk about? Oh, makeup being all over my desk right now because I did a makeup collab on stream. So I need to clean all this up. I don't even know what I said, but it just cut off. I need to clear space on my memory card because I filled it up. Um, other than that, yeah, I really just really want to get good at Val. I almost deranked all the way down to bronze from silver two. So I'm going to be hitting that hard hopefully this next month. And hopefully you guys find that exciting on live streams and hopefully some videos on YouTube of some highlights. And yeah, I don't know why it just it appeals to me more than Fortnite, more than not more than COD. I do love COD, but COD can get extremely sweaty and Valorant is just so unique. And Overwatch, that rank system is whack. We all know that. And what else? Fortnite? Don't want to get good at that. Don't care about Fortnite. <laughs> and Apex. I've had enough Apex. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off now because I need to edit and I kind of want to do a little bit today. Um, it's only nine o'clock, so I can play until like midnight. I finally have my nail appointment. <laughs> so we're gonna fix this nail appointment. Let's go. Um, that's tomorrow. I'll take you guys along with me there. And I just got something fun for Christmas day for myself. So it won't be as depressing of a day, I hope. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for the last few vlogs of Chrissiness. This has been fun. Um, like I said earlier, I don't really know if I learned what I was supposed to, but I have been somewhat consistent, so this has been a learning experience in itself. So yeah, I'm excited still. Um, and much more, now that I've been editing my ass off, expect videos all the time. So that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next vlog. And I'm signing out.